Alright guys, we're taking our concealer brush with our Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and we're carving out the brows. Alright, now I put it all over the lid. I'm taking a beauty blender and I'm bouncing it all over my eyelid to blend it out. Next I'm taking the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, it's the eyeshadow palette. And then I'm taking this bone shade in there and I'm going to use that with a brush to set our eyelids so they won't crease. Now if you want your makeup to last all day, especially your eyeshadow, you better set those eyelids. I'm telling you. Alright, now I'm taking the 3502 by Morphe, and I'm going to use a transition shade, the one on the top left corner. Make sure you tap off the excess, and then start in your crease. Alright, make sure you have your hand at the end of the blending brush, because that's when you get the best blend. Also, windshield wipers and circular motions. Now I'm taking a darker shade with the same brush and putting it in the crease as well. And windshield wiper motions I'm doing here. And then soon I'll do circular motions. Alright, now I'm taking a smaller dense brush. I'm taking that extra fire engine brush because you know <laughs> the theme is fire and water. Putting that in your crease again as well, but now we're having a more intense color. So make sure you blend that carefully into the same spot. When you're working with more vibrant pigments and colors, make sure you take your time with it. Like, Take a bit, add in it, and then keep blending. You gotta switch back and forth. Because if you just add all at once, you'll never be able to blend that, like, ever. Now I'm taking an even more dense brush to have even more pigment into the same spot in the crease. So keep adding, keep blending, and repeat that step all the time. Over and over and over again. Until you've reached your blend. Alright? Okay, now I'm taking this Fenty palette by Rihanna, and I'm using this gold shade, and then I'm taking some Mario Badescu spray on a flat brush, and spray it because that's when it, you get the best pigment out of a metallic shade. I'm putting that all over the lid to give a shine. Alright? Okay. Yes. I love it. And then we're taking our uh, dense blending brush and putting it back in a crease to blend it out because we don't want any harsh lines. You feel me? Yeah. Okay, now we're taking the Dare to Create palette by Morphe as well. I love Morphe. Morphe sponsored me. I'm taking a transition shade and putting it on the crease to do the water side. Pretty much the same process, just different colors. We're taking that dense, more dense brush, and then we're taking the blue. Now, this is a dark color, so you got to be very careful, okay? Start in the crease, you take little by little, you always gotta tap off the excess shadow, okay? That's a, that's a big number one rule of mine, okay? Start in the crease, and you just, like I said before, you gotta add, blend, add, blend, add, blend. Don't add too much at one time, or else you're gonna be in big trouble. So I'm just blending here with my dense brush, and as you can see, that's how we end because we kept blending. Now I'm taking kind of the same brush as we took with that gold shade, and I'm using that with a blue shade and putting that all over the lid. And then I thought that it wasn't showing as much pigment as possible, so I, you can use your finger. Honestly, your fingers are the best you can use. And then just put that all over your lid. Same steps. And I'm just putting it all over my lid. Yep. And then we're going back in with our blending brush and we're blending our crease again to make sure everything's seamless. We don't want any harsh lines. And we dance. Okay, yeah, we dance. And then we take a makeup wipe because we gotta figure out all this follow. That's why we do eyeshadow first before we do our base. Now we're taking this primer. This is the Benefit Pore Professional Primer because, you know, a girl's got a, big, got a lot of big pores that she needs to cover. Blend that all over, get that all over your face. We need a clean base for our face. Now I'm taking the Wet n Wild Select Cover Up Foundation. Probably not the name of that, but I'll I'll have all my stuff down in the description. And I'm taking a blender and we're just bouncing that all over the face. Make sure you bounce it. Don't wipe it. 
get your neck. We don't want any floating heads. We really don't, okay? Watch your brows. Get all your face. Get the crevices in your nose. You know, you got a lot of wrinkles in your, in, on your face. You gotta make sure you get the, you get the crevices. Now we're taking some uh, concealer. Like two shades lighter than your skin tone. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. We're gonna highlight with this, okay? So think about where the sun would hit you and what's what, like where it would highlight you. So underneath the eyes, on the forehead, your nose and your chin. So we're taking the same blender and we're just bouncing it. Remember, bounce, don't slide. We're pressing it into the skin. We don't want it to look streaky or anything. So we're brightening and we're taking all the bags out of our uh, under our eyes. I had to speed it up because I know this is a little. Mm. All right, now we're gonna take our contour kit and we're gonna set the under eyes with a brightening powder because we do not want our under eyes to crease. And this also is highlighting it. It's making your face matte so you're not looking too wet. I prefer a matte look because my face is oily. So we're just setting all the stuff that we just put on our face. The concealer part. And we're also brightening it. Now we're taking a big powder brush and using our foundation powder. This is the CoverGirl Clean foundation powder. And we're just going to set the rest of our face so the foundation doesn't slide around. Now for the fun part, the contouring. For the fire, you're taking that same red shade that we used earlier. Make sure this is this is the really intense part. You gotta tap it off and start slowly. Like I said, start little by little. Don't add too much or you're not gonna be able to blend it out. So for the contour, you wanna start as close as, you wanna have the darkest close to your hairline. And then you blend it out. And you have our temples. And then our forehead. So yeah, like pretend, think about where the shadows, your natural shadows would be on your face. And I did on the neck, but I didn't really like it. So now I'm taking my powder that I used earlier and we're just adding some more to blend it out more. Taking this highlighter by Artist Couture in the shade Illuminati, we're going to highlight our face now. cheekbones uh, forehead and now we're taking the same palette that we use the blue in use the, okay this is this was this is a little scary but because it's extremely dark you need to be careful See, I, I was a little shook remember darkest closest to the hairline start little by little and then you can uh, do not start off dark or else you're not gonna be able to blend it so same area, temples, think about your shadows, where you want to be skinny, nice and chiseled, you know. We don't want to look like we ate 10 bags of McDonald's fries, we want to make sure that we look nice and fit, yeah. Now we're taking that same Fenty Beauty palette, we're going to take the blue shade in there, because we're water. Clear water. We're gonna take the Mario Badescu spray so you can get the most pigment out of it, and we're gonna highlight the same parts of our face on the opposite side. Our cheekbones and our forehead. Yes, we are loving it. We are we are looking very wet. Yes, and I added on some of my finger because, like I said, finger gives more pigment. I said. And we're any adding some into the inner corner of the eye and to the brow bone. And I'm going to add some on the other side as well for the other color. This is where the sun naturally hits you, you know. You're going to see all of this highlight. Yes, and we're taking the same highlighter that we took before. And we're putting it in the inner corner on the brow as well. Now we're taking a smudger brush. And we're taking the red and put it underneath the eye for your lash line. So we don't look blank underneath our eye. We all want to match, you know.
And we're taking the darker shade that we took, or the slash orange shade, and we're gonna blend it out so it doesn't look too harsh, you know? We don't wanna look too harsh. We wanna look blended and seamless, you know? That's what we wanna do. Oh, oh my god, I dropped. Okay, we don't, we don't wanna pull me, okay? Don't do that. Let me take the blue. Again, be careful with the blue. The blue is very pigmented. It's scary sometimes. Just gotta be careful. Like I said, add little by little. Do not go in with a heavy hand. Just blend in and connect the bottom to the top shadow. Just blend away. When in doubt, just blend. Yep. And then we're taking a black eyeliner. We're gonna line the waterline because it looked a little... I thought it looked a little blank as well so we're just gonna fill that in and then of course a little bit of mascara and then i like to use a liquid eyeliner to line my eyes my my ooh, i can't talk my lids just so i can have a line to guide me when i put my lashes on no wing or anything just a straight plaster yes and then i'm now using the huda beauty lashes yes my best friend got them for me for my birthday and i'm loving them they are very huge but they look gorgeous and you just follow the line put your lashes on and then we add the last bit of mascara for our bottom lashes and then we add lipstick this is a blue lipstick from wet n wild and then a red lipstick by Kat Von D. And that's it. Next video will be on Earth and Wind. Stay tuned for that. Hopefully you will come back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, 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 yeah.